So the constitution of the Bahamas. I mentioned before that the constitution um, has, has laws, it has, um, it has articles, it has written information that protects the individuals of a country. The Bahamas has a constitution, um, countries have constitutions. And in the Bahamas, our constitution gives us the rights and privileges as citizens of a nation. So if ever you wondered if what you were doing were legal or illegal, or you may have, like for example, I'll give you an example, um, homeschooling. There are people who are interested in homeschooling, but if they, they don't know if it's legal or illegal, one way to find out is to take a look at the constitution and see what the constitution has to say. And when they look at the Bahamas constitution, they'll see where um, it's written in there that parents have the right to educate their children or provide um, forms of education for their children. And so the way it's written, it allows for what today is called homeschooling. You know? And so if ever you wanted to know if something were allowed, maybe it's something new, maybe it's taking place in another country and you wanna do it here, you can check the constitution and it'll give you an idea of what, what it says about um, that thing. I wanted to show you a screen of our constitution. This document is 111 pages. We're not going to look at all of that. What we're going to look at is the, how it's arranged, basically the table of contents, so that you can see some of the things that um, is written in the constitution, okay? So it talks about citizenship. It talks about um, the citizenship rights of people who were born before independence um, and after independence and, and all of that. It talks about um, freedoms of individuals. Take a look at number 18. What does it say? Protection from slavery and forced labor. Right. So that's actually in the constitution. That means um, you can be enslaved because there is written in the constitution um, rights for individuals to be protected from slavery. So we don't have to worry about the possibility of going back into slavery, all right? So it's written there. Um, let's look at some more. 26, it says protection from discrimination on the grounds of race. That means you can't, if for example, you want to do something and you're being um, denied that opportunity because of your race, you're protected against that. You can now make a claim against what happened to you. You have the legal right to do something about it because it's written in the constitution, okay? It talks also about the governor general and his purpose, all right? The Senate, the House of Assembly, all of the powers that are given to the House of Assembly, their responsibilities, what they're supposed to do is written here in the constitution. Take a look at 48 disqualifications for election as members of House of Assembly, meaning once they're there, we're not stuck with them being there um, if they're not acting right and they're not, they're not doing the right thing. There are things that they must do. And so it's written in the constitution that they must um, act a certain way, okay? Voting, introduction of bills, privileges of parliament, all of these things are written in the constitution. And these are for you. These are for you and your rights as citizens living in the Bahamas. Okay, so let's talk about the constitution some more. Okay, so here in the Bahamas, that, that constitution that you see there, that is actually the sixth constitution um, for the Bahamas. So we've had six constitutions and the very first one can any of you, do any of you know when the first constitution came about? Or take a guess? 1973 or 72? Actually, 1973 was when that sixth constitution came out, that same one I just showed you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so the first one actually came with the Lutheran Adventurers. All right. So the Lutheran Adventurers, they brought the first constitution and that one was in the year 1648. 
And when they put their constitution together, it wasn't the most practical or realistic one, but it was something, it was some basic information to give them the freedoms that they wanted. So we're going back very far. When these group of people, this first group of people came here, well, I say, I don't mean first, but when this group of people first came here, they wanted to have some sort of organized structure that secured their freedoms. And then the second one came in the year 1670 when proprietary government was established. Okay, so um, that constitution, the one in 1670, that recognized the Lord proprietors as owners of the Bahamas. You remember we spoke about that when the Lord proprietors were in charge. It gave them all of the authority to appoint governors. You remember that the Lord, there were six of them who were appointed owners of the Bahamas, but they didn't want to come here specifically um, and handle the affairs by themselves. Instead, they appointed governors and then the governors, they were corrupt. And so a third constitution came about and that was done in the year 1718. Okay. And that was the establishment of direct crown government because we went from proprietary government to crown government. That means crown government meant that the governors in the Bahamas would not be appointed by Lord proprietors anymore but they would be appointed by the British crown. And the first one, do you all remember who the first one was? Wood Rogers? Yeah, it was Woods Rogers. So that's three constitutions the Bahamas saw so far. And then the fourth one um, came about kind of recently in the 1900s. So almost 200 years later, the fourth one came about in 1964 um, when the Bahamas was granted internal self Gov um, government, meaning it'll handle its, its own affairs from the inside without, I guess, told what to do from Great Britain. We'll just handle it inside. And then the fifth one came about in 1969. This was the fifth constitution. It was established. So this was established when the term premier was changed to prime minister. Okay, so prime minister replaced the term um, premier. And then finally, that sixth constitution was after, that came with independence in 1973. Okay, that one reflected the principles, the basic principles of our democratic monarchy. This is after independence. So we've had six, different constitutions um, throughout the Bahamas. And the sixth one still is set up in a way where the, the king, not the queen anymore, not Queen Elizabeth, but the king, King Charles is the head of state, okay? Who is represented by the governor general. That's written in the constitution. We saw it where the governor general, there were, um, it's written about the responsibilities of the governor general.